My sweet goats, how you doing? I've been enjoying the sh** out of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and I just wanted to do a little bit of a video on it, kind of going into the, the naysayers. I wanted to kind of see what the naysayers are up to in regards to this game, because I love this game, and I don't understand why you can actually dislike it for it being hard, you know? I just don't get it. It's, it's like, why would, you, why would you play this game expecting a game that's anything but difficult? So the first thing I want to look into is this review by Slant. Slant says, the punishing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice coasts on borrowed moves. Its boss fights highlight the contrived lengths that From Software has gone to in order to satisfy its players. <coughs> I like. <laughs> its boss fights highlight the contrived lengths that From Software has gone to in order to satisfy players' thirst for difficulty. Now this review is pretty run of the mill. They say this is what From Software has done before. Like, look at this, look what's happening here. This is the setting, this is what's going on. But then it gets really weird, okay? It gets weird over here because it says, Sekiro Shinobi protagonist knows a few melee tricks. A few melee tricks. A few melee tricks. Now you can tell already that our boy Jed Pressgrove hasn't played this game or is just really bad at this game because I can tell you right now that he has way more than a few melee tricks up his sleeve. And then he says, but the game is best conquered by picking off guards one by one without being seen. No, it's not. The game is best conquered by throwing yourself into the fray, getting into fights, mailing until you break people's postures or defending yourselves until you can break their posture and really just winning with melee combat. That's the idea. That's the that's the way this game is best played. Not by not by stealth because the stealth is really, I mean, it's not, it's not a, this isn't a Splinter Cell or a Metal Gear Solid game, okay? The AI is really dumb. Stealth is almost too easy sometimes. You just go around, you figure out where they can't see you, and you just take them off one by one. It's kind of boring to play that game that way. You kind of want to just go ahead and get into fights and win in the, in, the, in the most stylish way possible. And I also find it interesting because the author of this review here, he says, in the end, the game's combat system lacks a truly innovative hook such as the key pulse dynamic from 2017's Neo, the boomerang axe from 2018's God of War. So he's compared Neo and God of War to this game. And okay, I guess you can do that because God of War, the most recent one, did feel like it, it it borrowed a little bit more from the Souls games in terms of how you approach combat. Combat wasn't really just as easy as it was in the previous God of War games. What I don't really understand is how he found Neo okay, but not Sekiro. I mean, Neo was just way harder, way more challenging than Sekiro in my opinion. You know, I felt Neo just over, overly punishing at times. It was almost stupid uh, how hard it was at times. I'm just like, okay. I wasn't having a lot of fun with, with Neo, but I probably didn't give it enough time that I, I needed to. I, I feel like I played the game for maybe about six hours total. I feel like I need to give that game at least 10 hours before it really clicks. Sekiro, it took me about four to five hours, maybe six hours to really click with me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this guy thinks Neo is, is, is a game that's a little bit more innovative than Sekiro because I feel like every sword fight in Sekiro feels like an actual battle. It's so cool. Honestly, I would say that Sekiro is the first game in which they've struck this balance between fast-paced sword combat that feels like actual sword combat. I mean, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a, like an, like a Japanese samurai movie. That's what it looks like. It's just amazing. Now, before I get into the rest of the video where I berate bad gamers for being bad at Sekiro entirely in jest, I wanted to take a moment to highlight the ongoing conversation around difficult games like Dark Souls, Cuphead, and of course, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Last week, I shared this Kotaku article on Twitter titled, An Easy Mode Has Never Ruined a Game, and left a reply under their thread saying, You're right, it hasn't, and games should be accessible because games are good, but the developer's vision should be respected. If I made a game, I'd make the game I wanted to play. I think that's the case with Sekiro. I then followed up with, However, I think that the overly aggressive get good gamers need to get good at life and realize that somebody else beating their favorite game on an easier difficulty doesn't make their attempt at a harder difficulty any less valuable. Which I feel is one of the things that the Kotaku article and other people who want to experience a game like Sekiro on their own terms are trying to express. The thing about these all ultra hard games is that they essentially become this club that only a few people out of the gaming community can enter, which might correlate with this sense of purpose or belonging that is tied with an overwhelming sense of accomplishment. When casual gamers see these brutal but altogether awe-inspiring and aesthetically pleasing games, they also see the difficulty as a roadblock. For them, it's not really about experiencing a grueling journey, it's about being able to take in the environments and what the story has to offer in a more casual setting. Now, in discussing this with people online, I learned that From Software has always been intentional with their game design in terms of their difficulty. With that in mind, 
mind, along with my experience with the game and my initial reaction to the idea of an easy mode in Sekiro, which, if you've forgotten already, pretty much fell down to I want to play games the way the developers intended for them to be played, I definitely leaned more towards the get good mentality, especially since I get good at nearly every game I play. But what is getting good? And who defines what experience is the penultimate difficult experience? Well, let's take a look at Dark Souls 3, which is my entry into the series. It took me a few hours to beat the tutorial boss, and I even had to reset my character entirely because my starting weapon broke. I was not having fun for the first five to six hours of my experience because I found it to be too difficult. But I persevered because I had spent over $100 in purchasing the game to specifically stream it. During the early stages of the game, after I fought Vort of the Boreal Valley, a friend of mine popped into the stream to remind me that it had taken him around 30 minutes to beat the tutorial boss, but that Vort got him to rage quit the game. What I'm trying to point out is that our idea of difficulty wasn't in sync. I then went on to defeat the Abyss Watchers in around two or three attempts who I've been told are one of the harder bosses in the game, and I beat the Dancer of the Boreal Valley with a similar amount of ease who I've also been told is very difficult. Point is that difficulty is subjective, and what's easy for me might be difficult for you, but what ultimately matters most is if the game is fair to its players regardless of what level they're at in terms of their ability to play games. Which brings us to accessibility which is often wrongly equated with making a game easy. You see, later on in this video, I'll address someone who's played previous Souls games but finds Sekiro too hard, which I find to be the perfect example of them just needing to get good. However, on the other parts of the internet, you'll find people talking about making Sekiro and games like it more accessible, and you'll find people pushing back against the idea of it because they've mistaken accessibility for dumbing down or oversimplifying games. And please, Please, I'm begging you, do not get me wrong. I don't want a Souls-like experience that would feel too easy. Although I find Sekiro to be much easier than any Souls game in terms of the combat, but I definitely want to see video games like this being enjoyed by larger audiences because I feel like they're genre-defining experiences. I believe that making games more accessible opens the medium up to more people while allowing the core audience to retain what they feel makes the game special for them. Because in the end, beating or finishing a video game just comes down to a personal experience, which differs greatly from person to person, regardless of the difficulty level set by developers. The discussion around accessibility in video games is a rich one, and I invite you to check it out with an open mind. If you're interested, you could also follow this guy on Twitter. His name is Ian Hamilton, and he's a really nice, super nerdy dude that is an absolute knowledge base in terms of accessibility. He'll be more than happy to point you to articles, videos, and people that could better help you wrap your head around the topic. You could also take a look at this IGN article titled Sekiro. Accessibility in games is about far more than difficulty, written by accessibility expert Cherry Thompson, who recounts her experiences in beating Souls games while struggling with her own disabilities. It's a great read. Oh, and check out the Kotaku article I mentioned earlier for some lighter reading. It really isn't as bad as you think it is. So just to close off this segment of the video, I just wanted to say that I believe that video games are best enjoyed with other people either during a play session or after one in discussion. Being able to talk about them and share the joy that they bring us is crucial to the gaming community as a whole. So why not make games more accessible? Why not grow the community and invite in new experiences? Accessibility is going to be key going forward. Remember this. Okay, so now I just want to take to Twitter and see what people over there had to say about Sekiro either being too hard or not fun at all. And I don't want to rag on anybody. I mean, it's just probably just some people that you know just want to put their opinion out there. But I'm curious. I want to see just just how how ridiculous people are being in terms of the difficulty of this game. So we got this one person with a bit more of a balanced opinion of it. Apparently, he's played Dark Souls before. He says Sekiro is a brutal game. There's no grinding mechanic to make things easier for casual players either. There actually is. There totally is. Okay, you get skill points with every kill and you just kind of accumulate those skill points. So you can grind areas that, you know, give high rewards. You can also amp up the difficulty, I believe, to get better rewards. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely a grinding element to it. I genuinely do not think about two thirds of Souls players will be able to finish the game. It's, and I say this having done crazy shit like SL1 runs, absolutely ridiculously hard. Okay, well look, uh, cool. You know, you think it's hard. But uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I feel like I feel like m way more than two thirds of uh, of Souls players will be able to beat this game because I find that Dark Souls is way harder than Sekiro. Way hard. Way harder. It didn't reward aggression anywhere near as much as Sekiro does. So a random anime avatar thinks, as a hardcore From Software fan, I hate Sekiro. They took hard, difficult, fun, and made it a chore. The entire game feels tedious. It's not really that much of a chore. Okay, you can take on all the bosses. You just don't get hit, parry, dodge, do all the things. I mean, I've, I've gotten through many bosses without getting hit, okay? Because you just gotta get good. I don't want to, it's so weird telling people to get good. I know how annoying it sounds when people say get good, but really, you just gotta get good. It's not difficult to get good in this game. It gives you all the tools you need to succeed. 
It really does. This person says, secure was too hard. I said it. There is such a thing as something being so difficult, it stops being fun. It demands an unreasonable amount of focus and perfection from the player for a very lengthy amount of time just to beat a single tough enemy or boss. Once again, not true. Look, the point is, all right, you got to stop focusing on the health bar. Forget the health bar, okay? Yeah, you want to go ahead and maybe hit them a little bit, but the real health bar is their posture bar, okay? You want to break their posture because the moment you break their posture, you can absolutely fucking destroy them. And it's beautiful because you can make that happen within a minute. I'm not joking. You can legit make that happen within a minute. You're not playing the game properly. Get good. Get good, my friend. Get good. Parry at the right times. Attack at the right times. Look for the visual cues and you got it. Not even joking. I've done it with mini bosses. How about I show you a clip? This guy was one of the harder mini bosses in the game only because he was just relentless, man. Every time I attacked him, he came fired back with a bunch of attacks and he had like a few perilous attacks in his arsenal, including two thrusts and one disgusting sweeping attack that lasted like two years. So uh, yeah, anyway, this, this guy worked on his posture bar the entire time. If you look over there at the top left, his health really doesn't go down, but his posture bar gets absolutely destroyed. Go ahead and check this out. here you piece of shit. get fucking styled on seriously what the fuck, bro that was sick okay so now that we got the crybabies out of the way i wanted to kind of give some props to people on twitter for enjoying the game okay never played a from software game before but i'm having a lot of fun with Sekiro right now hard but still very fun this guy's never played a from software game before hard but fun isn't that great check this guy out he says from software i see why you bitches make money Sekiro is so fun hard but the amount of accomplishment you feel when you beat a boss uh you know indescribable absolutely it's one of the best feelings this game has really tapped into that i i beat this feeling that feeling of oh shit i actually got to the next level what's next what's next what's the next challenge i i just love that i feel like not a lot of games really kind of uh you know implement that 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 reward loop as as effectively as as, as a from software game you know uh Granted, I haven't played every single From Software game. I know I only played Dark Souls, but uh, but yeah, seriously. Wholeheartedly agree with this tweet. Anyway, that's it, my goats. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to go ahead and leave a like, hit the sub button, and ding that bell icon for more content. And of course, if you want to see me again and again and again, you want to see me on a more regular occurrence, Feel free to go ahead and check me out on twitch.tv slash MrBuntyKing where I'm streaming Monday to Friday. I would love to see you. I'd love to say hi to you. Absolutely love you. Thank you for stopping by. Bye!